In this example, what we're going to do is this thing called decomposing functions. So what we've actually been given is h of x is equal to the cube root of x squared plus 1. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to figure out if h of x is equal to the composite of two functions, f of g of x, can you figure out what f of x and g of x are equal to? So again, we're going to go back and figure out what this really means. So when we're finding f of g of x, we're basically taking our g function and plugging it into our f function. So what I try to do, uh, and there can be multiple answers to these, and we'll show you a couple different ways that you can set this up, is try to figure out maybe what's the last thing that we're doing to our function. Because the last thing that we would do in our function would actually be our f of x. So we're basically going to take our g of x and plug it into f of x. When I look at h of x, what I see is the cube root of x squared plus 1. So the last thing I can say that's being done in our function is the cube root of something. So we'll put the cube root of x. And then what we're actually taking the cube root of, we can say, would be x squared plus 1. So what we're doing is we're taking our g of x, we're taking our g of x right here, and we would plug it in here, which would give us that function right there. And like I said, some of these problems, you'll have multiple possible correct answers. So if you go back, you know, another way to write this is we could use f of x and g of x, and we could say instead, what we would do is we'd take the cube root of x plus 1, and then what we're actually plugging in would be x squared. So if you take x squared, and you plug it into this function right here, you're going to end up squaring, uh, or taking x squared and adding it to 1, and then taking the cube root. So therefore, you should get the exact same answer. So decomposing functions, you're basically having to analyze the function figure out what different parts there are and how you could substitute those things in. Uh, either one of those answers will be acceptable, so uh, just make sure that you're finding one that works out correctly.